Welcome to Nassau. She's letting you know here what all the things are. She, if you need to have some fun, she can ha get you hooked up. Basically, trying to set people up, and let them know where their excursions are meeting. Everybody here to have a good time. Checking out the tugboats as we walk up here into the port beside the ships. I think these tugboats, they'll take some rough water and bring these boats right on in here. So coming into the harbor here into the port coming through that channel right there the lighthouse up to the right I'm not sure what those cranes or towers are there to the left they got plenty of boats or shuttle boats position them waiting for everyone oh there. yeah right now there's four four different ships out here with us so we got 3,400 passengers on ours, and some of them look a little bigger, so we could have 14, 15,000 people unloading here. Yeah, there's a lot of people right here trying to do these same little things, but we're going to walk around and see what Nassau is right about. We're probably going to stay kind of near the port. Too bad there's not any fishies down there along that wall that I can see. But you can see how teal and blue that water is. So there's your, a view of the boats. Call it, Hello. They call it friendship bracelet. Okay? Oh, awesome. Oh. You can so never yes, have too many friends. You gotta yep. be from the sun. Yeah, okay. that's right. He said, Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. I mean, people come true. Yeah. They're all the same. You don't want to take the toys. There is plenty of that, too. Yeah. Yeah. So sweet, like my grandfather. See, like I know you both. So braid your hair, get you something to drink if you're thirsty. Looks like some little food ones that are closed back that way. Got t-shirts, postcards, paintings. Some really beautiful paintings. Check those out. Gorgeous. You look in the shop, they got you some stuff that you can buy. Here. Oh, this is the. Oh, this is the pretty one. Oh yeah, that one is pretty. Pretty shells. The coconut heads that are decorated. Wind chimes. You just got a head in a bracelet. Let me hear that wine again. Wine, cry and complain. Emma's doing the same. And some different type shops as well. I passed several clothing and handbags and that sort of thing. There's more soap, it says. This is really pretty. Souvenirs.
really pretty stuff. We see some of these, don't we? We've been walking a little bit, so this air under this right here feels good. So as we walk down Bay Street here, we have seen along this side edge all the improvement they're doing. The tourists coming soon. They are going to have some great new shops for you guys. There's already some great ones over here, but they are building a quite a little complex here for some little shops. And you can just see as we get, and that's why this fencing's here, because they do have all this construction going on, so they got it blocked off. But coming into the port right here, look how beautiful. And Senior Frogs is right ahead, and I believe that's where my crew is waiting on me. Oh, we're about to get out past the fence, guys. Woohoo! Look at that water. like big shells and we cannot lie. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, Regina? We like big shells and we cannot lie? Yeah, we do. Oh, look at there. And you can see where these conch have been used for food. See that notch right there in the top by my thumb? It's actually where they have, you know, broken the shell on purpose and they stick their knife or whatever they're using down in there and detach the snail from the shell itself to extract the snail out of the shell to eat the conch. Conch fritters and conch salad and conch ceviche, um, cracked conch. And you can do all those same things with whelk that we do at home, like the whelk that we find on the beaches for those of you who walk the beach with us. The people eat whelk just like they do conch. They're in the same family. One's just a herbivore and one's a vegetarian. I mean a carnivore. Vegetarian and a carnivore. That's the only difference between a whelk and a conch, really. Plenty of people here making sure you are satisfied. They got everything you want right there. All right, look at me, Shug. Hi, Daniel. Hey, we <coughs> we down here. We made it. We made it. You should have wore your pineapple dress. Your oh Lord, well, they ain't got nothing to do with me swinging. <laughs> we don't go that way. No, I do like pineapple, but I uh, also like rainbows, but that, uh, I'm here with my husband. But check this water out. That is beautiful. This is a great place to see the lighthouse right here, right over Regina's shoulder. There's a clear view right here of the lighthouse. And we have made it down to Senior Frogs on this side. And you can see they actually have ropes in the water and have lots of conch shells hanging from it. So I guess this is supposed to be like where they're cleaning the shells out to sell after they've gotten the fresh conch out. Now whether they really have fresh conch at Senior Frogs or anywhere around here, uh, I would say so because this is, I mean, where most of it comes from. So 
feel sure they probably wouldn't have it exported in, but you never know. It's a beautiful day to be in the Bahamas. I mean, this watercolor is just beautiful. And we're seeing Needle Nose Gar out here. And it's some schools. Looks like the Spanish mackerel swimming around. It's going to be hard to see them. Let's see. Where'd they go, Dan? What is that? Is that like a shell right there? Not too sure. Is that one of the conch? I'm trying to zoom you guys in to see if we can see if it's a shell. I see the color. So now it we got different. this ship here that's done come in too. That's the Carnival Liberty. I thought that was our ship. Oh, yeah. I do see that. You can see right there on the back where it says Carnival Liberty. Right above that deck of windows. And the sunshine I can see kind of like across in that section there. So the one with the blue bottom over there in the front, the second one in is the one we're on. So they've got four big ships docked there today. So Nassau has got tons of people having a good time on vacation, right? Good times and good people, good music and good friends. Get all all that. that stuff. Look, here they are again, stuff. Oh, I see them. Oh, yeah. Well, they're fish, Daniel. What you guys think? <laughs> oh, I see him again right there. Oh, I seen the. Are they going under the? I can see them out there. He's starting to kind of cut the water. Now they're right till our right again. They probably see us up here and they move with it. Thirsty Emma? Put your cup down for a second. Let me take your picture. Uh oh. When I heard him over there, are you doing that wine, crying, complain song already too? Do it for me, Odie. Sing it for us. Wine, crying, complain. Odie is doing the same. Enjoy the shade and a soda and people watch for a moment. Cherry Pepsi. So we have four cruise ships full of people off and on about. Yeah, and they have of course rentals of all kind of different little SUVs and things like that. They'll take you on tours. You can do all kind of stuff you want to do here. I sure hope that's not our boat's horn that's blowing, saying they're leaving. When you get a place like this, you got to bob and weave, bob and weave. Bob and weave, babe. Oh no, I, I, he did it after us anyway. 
Oh, I want to go through these little shops right here because I want to get the um, the magnet that I want is in this shops right here. Restrooms. And I walked around and kind of decided what I wanted. So now I just got to find a little booth in here that had the one that I decided that I wanted. Just getting the hair braided. Got plenty of people having some cold drinks. You got the ice for you. He gonna keep these fellas cool. Yeah, this is where we walked through earlier. Got all sorts of goodies and plenty of people to buy them. You got some good beach finds. What you looking for? Uh, magnet. Magnet. I got it. The lady boy trap door. You found it? Not any of them. I have lost it. I said I was gonna remember where it was and come back. You got a weave and bob through this stuff. Bob and weave, babe. Check this out. Did you find the magnet? I did not yet. Thank you. Well, let's go to the next one. You know what you're looking for? Yeah. It's a square magnet. It's a picture frame. It's got like Bahamas stuff around it, but it's actually a picture frame. Little magnet. Okay. See you tour, guys. I do like that one if I don't find the one I'm talking about. But. You're a pro at it. Mm -hmm. I'll just put you this. <laughs>
Sorry. You must have stopped that because I may never find this thing. <laughs> Look at all these very shells, bro. Uh. Want a buggy ride? This wasn't where you were looking. I don't think so. I have not been back in this corner this morning. They weren't open yet. A lot of this stuff wasn't even open hardly when we got off the boat. Let me help Okay. Thank you. This looks handmade. Look at it. What you think? I think so. This is definitely one of the handmade. She was telling us that some of them are handmade. And some of them are just ceramics. Right. The Bahama Mamas. We know a pine cone, she said that is. And then with their grass baskets, like in Beaufort, when they did when the ladies do the sweet grass baskets. Oh, look here at this Christmas tree with all the shells. See it? We're from South Carolina. South Carolina. Okay. We do videos and stuff on YouTube. You uh, Salty Reflections. And we actually do a lot of videos in our area where we're from. Um, it's not a lot of people, so the Barrier Islands and some of them are only accessible by boat. And we go out and do a lot of seashelling and stuff oh, okay, like that. Okay. And we share videos where we just crabbing, fishing, right. you know, doing boating like shrimp trawl nets, pulling shrimp trawl nets. That's our thing and we're on vacation. So we're just kind of carrying people along with us, right? Yes. Saudi reflection. 
subscribe right now. How many how many subscribers we have right now? Reflection. Salty reflection. What are we looking at? Um, this is it right up here. Eight K. Eleven point okay. eight thousand subscribers. <laughs> Thanks everyone. All right. All right. Got a new time. subscriber yes, here. Definitely. We, we're enjoying your island. I'm back again, all right? And all we right. have 700 islands and keys so you can check them all out. Okay, thank you. Maybe thank you, you for the information. <laughs> yeah. I got my little ones. Excuse me. I decided on an option of two. I'm gonna let you choose after that. She's still looking for the magnet, right? Right. <laughs> what did I try to do? I saw one specifically this morning that I had picked out, but now I cannot find it. So. Well, who could remember where that was in all this chaos? Within right the now? same little surplus area, but I've decided right here. Oh, look, this is before I get to the magnet. This is what a real sea biscuit looks like. So the sea biscuits that we picked up in Holden Beach are sea biscuit fossils from millions of years ago. But this is an actual real sea biscuit. Trying to get in there. Very fragile, very much like the sand dollar. I can see the doves moving around inside of it. And some of the starfish from this area. And you can see some of the hand painted conch shells. These are the real conch right here. Like right. the videos that we've shared from South Carolina, um, a lot of people call those shells that we're finding the welt shells, they call them cone, well, in our area. which is wrong. If you're in South Carolina and you're finding those big, beautiful shells like we find on the channel, there, those are not your cone shells, these are straight out of the Get some hand painted ones, too. Some of the artwork. From this area, Bahamas. I'm gonna have to get Tristan and Ava something now because they know that I got Rita something. Oh my god! Put it back. Put it back. I agree. What is it? The profanity. You can't show that on That's YouTube. That's just nature. That's nature. That's not the fact. Dude. That is nature, you're right. Is that really nice? All right, so we're here to have decided though. Either um, one of these hand painted ones like this, and it's just, you know, a painted little board, but somebody hand painted that one like this with the scene or the cruise boat. I think we should do this. All right. It'll, it'll help all right, us and remember. And there's more out there. So I want to compare. With, well, there's a few right here. So you want Nassau Bahamas or just Nassau or one just says um, Bahamas? Let's do the Nassau Bahamas. All right. So let me look out there and see if I see any of the ones that say Nassau Bahamas that I like any better. What about that? Or any of y'all like this one y'all shop? Make sure he knows you got it. Oh yeah, I'm just walking right here to the edge to compare. She's got one in her hand. All right, this is the only one that says Nassau Bahamas with the... Yes. You got um, money? How much? Six, it says. And they have more out here. My other um, thing I was thinking was either this one, but I like the hand painted one. Whether somebody from Bahamas really hand painted it or not, somebody painted it. Who's so. doing the work? He's the artist. Oh, okay. Awesome. You can see all the paint and supplies <laughs> right here. Oh. The brushes and stuff. So like in our area, the artist is in. Look at his parrot fish, is that or some sort of... Ooh, they look pretty too. Y'all come on down here and buy some of these. Thank you, we appreciate it. Got a few things. Bought one of those conks. I kept trying to tell the guy I didn't need it, but he finally talked, I talked him down um, a lot lower than he thought he wanted to go, probably. I don't know, he, he started out at 20. I told him I... 
I told him I get in trouble for having too many seashells already. I did not need another seashell. And he said, all right, five bucks. And he had already went down from 20 and kept going. But at five, he got me because I, I am not going to find one of these conks out here on any of these beaches, not just myself, because I'm not even getting in the water today. So that was luck. And I got a little wooden, cute little crab. So making these memories. Taking you, you guys along own, with us. When you already own a few thousand shells, you definitely don't need to come to the Bahamas and buy another one. So we help support you guys. Out Actually, there. I guess I bought two, but I did get um, a bracelet as well. So it's got some abalone shell in it. How about this? And it comes up, and the, what got me is because we do have little kids around all the time and crab legs are easy, something to break off figurines. These actually come a, come apart. They're like little spindles. Hand so carved. it's hand carved and it's made to fit together like a puzzle. So that way, you know, they can probably still break the leg, but at least part of that comes off and the claws and everything. Everything is made with the spindles like that. So he, and they had all kind of little wood carvings that were like that. Whoa, no. Okay, yeah, let me check out our little crab here in the Bahamas. But at least we could say we, we brought us back a crab from the Bahamas. Non-edible. We're not going to eat him. All right, wrap that up for me, please. Then you want to show them that too? And I looked around for a good one, so I hope I don't end up breaking the lip anymore. Because I took a minute to pick it out too. <laughs> yeah, a seashell. A seashell. Like I needed a seashell. Taking those picture stuff. Speed up a little <laughs> well, bit. I was being particular. I'm just kidding. You did good. Are you gonna like sharing these pictures on the community post? You got to start helping. I thought you did that. Sometimes. Let's pack this up. Hey! Yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Stuff has taught me into buying that there. And you could have jumped down there and got one. I could have actually found one on the beach. Are you kidding me? Jeez, Louise. I like that big one right there that's broken. Nathan and Carly walked into the um, McDonald's right here. This looks like it's on the corner of Queen, and I believe it says Marlboro, but it's spelled O-U-G-H, so I'm not really sure if that's how you say it. I'm gonna try to zoom in and let you guys see it. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly or not. Anyway, right here in Nassau, Bahamas, at the McDonald's. And we found a little shade. Yeah, yeah, we stopped yeah. right here on purpose. We're on the way to the beach. So it seems that, and there's a Dairy Queen right here too, you see the DQ, um, right here across from the McDonald's DQ, but it seems that to get to the actual beach, it's, it's a little, quite a little hike from the port where we actually got off the ship. So that's why there's tons of little cab drivers standing around saying, you know, five dollar, five dollar cab ride, taxi. They had all kind of different ways. They had bicycles, those trolleys, the, ho the horse carriages. They could get you here any kind of way you want to go, guys. Just because remember, you don't realize like, how long the walk is going to be. There's four cruise ships here now with uh, two of them's got over 6,000 people and two of them's got around 3,500. So that's a total of about 20,000 people that could be on these streets, including the people that's already here. And it was a shell shot walking down through there in those crowds. and. These guys are started coming up to you asking you to buy drinks and different stuff. 
So if you, you, these guys, they're trying to make money, they're hustling, and they got plenty of taxes and uh, the ATVs, yeah, they, any and everything you want, you'll find it down there. Yeah, scooter. they had the scooters, the mopeds, um, the ATVs, UTVs, all kind of Jeep rides. We saw all kind of things. A limo Jeep ride this morning. Come on down to the Bahamas. Oh, look at this cute little lighthouse like building right here to our left. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Wow. I think that's probably the most awesome view there is to miss. And that's the Margaritaville Beach Resorts, Nassau, Bahamas. Okay, well, I can still subscribe. <laughs> I can still subscribe. Hey, hey, look. Between Salty ah, Reflections. YouTube, YouTube. Ah, okay. YouTube, say your name. Entre Mares y Cruceros. <laughs> there you go. We'll have to look it up because Yeah, of course. See what kind of Say hello to Hello. We making. we are salty reflections. Salty we oh. we make beach videos. Oh beautiful. How you say? Perfect. That's, nice that's the sunset from our area. Oh beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have a good one. So I don't speak Spanish, so if any of you guys know exactly what they said, please subscribe to their channel. Check it out. They look like they're um, here in the Bahamas having That's a good right. time. They're having a great time. And look at what they get the video hey, all the time. Let me take a picture. We're going to have to go around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Little tugboat in the way right this second, but... <laughs> we walk down the stock here. Beautiful lighthouse hey, across there. And we have come out to this beautiful Bahamian beach in Nassau, Bahamas. I'll slip these sandals off. Right behind the big margarita deal. Yep. Looks like it. Double bite. That's what we need. That's what we need at Tansy. We can go through the marsh. We can go let the dolphins ride with us. Those are cool. Got six any of y'all got any something like this that y'all want to send to me? Our address and contacts in we all the six videos. Boats and four kayaks. We don't need nothing. Else. Yeah, I'll take one of these. Or one of these. I like these too. I might can get in shape better. These um we got and they take a lot of work. <laughs> but these are pretty cool. This is a double one. Big paddle tires. And then they got this the single. Yeah, and then when you put it in the water, you let this right here down and the propeller's under the water and there's your rudder. That looks like a drain, You can see a couple people out here on Right now. I bet you, I wonder if there's any of those guys out there in the Bahamas right now. In Nassau. Anchored or moored right out in front of Margaritaville with the cruise ship view. Man, that looks like an awesome place to anchor. Yeah, it does. I'm sure you have to rent more for you. What yeah, I, I would think right here, I would think it'd be I'll more buoys, buoys too. Here. Right here, just close to, sh well, we to land. Yeah, we're just running our mouth. You know, we're good at that, guys. All right. 
Let's take a walk. Y'all wanna walk and see? So this is Margaritaville, right here in Nassau. And you can see the little sculptures right here in front of the hotel. Seahorses. The infinity pools. Very nice, very nice. And in their view is all of this lovely. Look at the ship here. So this is what the cargo ships were going out there for. I mean the um, tugboat, sorry. I'm discombobulated looking at it and trying to get it focused in the camera too. But this is how I'm looking at y'all, trying to figure out what the screen is showing in this bright sun. That ship's coming in here to port, probably over there where the cruise ships are. Y'all got y'all something, yeah. something from McDonald's in Nassau, Bahamas, huh? Does it taste any sweeter down here? Uh, no, <laughs> about the same, right? Uh, a bit. And um, how much were those two drinks here? Oh dang, that's not bad. Four so four dollars and some change for two drinks this size. So that looks pies. like large and two apple pies. So that's pretty good. Not too bad at all. Oh that water feels good. That's Piggies in the sand. Yeah, buddy. He's ready. He's going in. Well, these people out here amazes me. They're in three or four foot of water and you can see the bite down to the bottom. It's crazy. You can see behind us, but we see back here behind us. Yeah. I shouldn't have worn these shoes out here. Well, you did say you weren't coming to the beach and then as we've been out here throughout they'll the okay. morning. They'll dry out. Yeah, they will dry out. But as we've been out here throughout the morning, he decided that he was going to come out to the beach. So we're going to continue to walk on down this beach to the seawall. And these people are sure having a good time out here enjoying this water. The water feels great. Especially because it's right about noon right now probably. So the sun is up high. But look how clear it is. You can even see the hair tie right here. And it dropped off really quick right there. The water came up to knee level on one side so it's like a little bank right there which that's great for like shells if you were going to find something if anything were to ever wash up it would wash up along that little groove right there right where that rubber band was sitting so we're going to kind of walk that line you know because i will get wet i wasn't really dressed to come to the beach but i will sacrifice if i need to I see anything good enough. Open, I've already left Oliver back there. Let you guys take in the view. While we let him catch up. Oh, look at that picture right there. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at the tugboat bringing the ship in. Yeah. Okay, so the ship is not going over there, same place that the cruise ships are. I can see why people love the Bahamas now. Yeah, buddy, you thought you had a doubt? I did not have a doubt. Now, this part of the Bahamas, I don't know that I would like, but I feel sure there's probably some little places out here that this, just these islanders know. 
that would be really cool to go hang out at and like you know spend time on the water kind of like we do back home not really doing the so so much the tourist part of it which of course you know we're kind of um trapped into that just because of the fact that we are on one of those big boats that brought us here and we are going to get back on that thing hopefully this afternoon so we're we're going to stay right in this pretty general area but it's a good little walk over here oliver how, how much would you say the walk is over here back to the boat yeah um at the top again one mile <laughs> but with the crowd and stuff it seemed a lot longer it could be about a mile yeah you can see the distance is all, you know, looking back that way. It may not even be quite a mile. But we've had to walk through a lot of streets and around and about kind of to get here. And this right here, dead ends, you can't walk this way either. So we are back up. Yeah, we're back around this bit. And, so, and I do not see Daniel or Regina or the kids anywhere, which is what I was looking for down this way. Have y'all already been in? No. Oh, okay. I was going to ask if y'all had seen anything. Well, good luck. Look, a little piece of broken shell. A couple little pieces of broken shell. The rest of it's just like little coral rocks, so nothing. This right here is one of those weaving bob, babe. Bob and weave, weave and bob. Bob, meet, weave. Keep on going, babe. Okay, they're back to the hair braiding. sand up on people they were so close it was so bunched up yeah they definitely you know, had a bunch of them in that know, area sand sticking to these shoes too see yeah picking up i was just so worried it was like throw up on you know the sand up on them. i'm sure if i was laying there they wouldn't give a shit about me but that's you how wanna... my mind works and i'm gonna have a fire on the beach that's a good beer Thank you. Fire on the beach. The ocean was whiskey and I was a duck. I'd swim to the bottom and never come up. But the ocean's not whiskey and I'm not a duck. So pass me the bottle and shut the up. Can you tell I'm excited? This is our first cruise and we have loved it so far. Have you enjoyed yourself? There's been a lot of people at times, but we've been able to cope. We are, right. you know, you guys are used to seeing us. We like to be by ourselves. You've heard me say that before. Yeah. It's been fine. Everybody's been super nice. You know, you're so insignificant in this world. Uh, you see, like all these other people really ain't worried about what you're doing or anything. Anyhow, you know, you're just out here having a good time. That's why they're out here doing so. That's right. So we came out from these little shops where we got something to drink and to cool off a little bit. We come back out to this gorgeous view. A lighthouse out there. Not exactly sure what lighthouse that is. Some of you guys may know. Right here into the port of Nassau. And there may be other ports, but so this is the one where the Carnival Cruise Line comes in and docks. And there's a sign there that says this area of the beach is for Margaritaville beach resort members only so from here back that way and then on around i'm not really sure how far it goes it doesn't look like it goes very far a couple of these jetties over Right here on this walkway, 
Look at how they've got the concrete imprinted. It took me a second to see if you guys could see it on the screen, but yes, you can. So that was a sea turtle, of course. Looks like we're coming up on a dolphin. Dolphin. Crab. And this is just imprinted in the concrete and it looks like a dolphin again. And the sea turtle, so then it repeats. I see a dolphin and another crab, a dolphin. So that's pretty neat. Pretty, pretty. How about that? For real. Beautiful. It is just gorgeous. I guess I better go find Oliver. You are, I was coming to find you. Look at how the concrete is stamped. There's a dolphin, Ooh. and a crab, and some other ones. That's a girl. Yeah. We're headed back to the boat. Is the light on in the light? Yep. Or that I think it's the light at this angle for sure. Huge mimosa tree. Or mimosa tree. People call them different things. If you like the Bahamas, hit the like and the subscribe button. This is not our boat. This is the Carnival Liberty. Our boat is on the other side of that. The second one in with the yellow slide. Um, that's the Carnival Sunshine that we're on. But isn't that a beautiful view? Here's the and we're going to take you for a little walk and let you take a look at these uh, modern day tugboats right here in this video. Just let you get a look at those. You know what they're using to move these ships around. Look at how pretty blue that water is. This is a big fleet, I guess they you would call it. Wow, check these winches out in this big guy. Now that's a huge drum winch there. Look and take a take a look how the massive size of this tug. And yeah. can you imagine the power it has, guys? You know what I'm talking about, you guys that really love boats. Just take a look at this thing. Look at the winch. The big pull point right here. And where the rope would go through back in the back when you're pulling. But I think like this, um, the Carnival Sunshine, I think it's around 100,000 tons. So that's why these boats, you know, have to move around. Steps going. Help this family get a picture. 
Kenneth. The tugboat, Kenneth. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Ah. And this is um the Carnival Sunshine's uh, sister boat, right? The Carnival Liberty. Are they pretty comparable? I really don't know. I really have no idea if th th would this be uh, the okay, sister the ship? Boat. Um, I don't remember because I think the sister ship is we're on the Carnival Sun Shine, and I think the other one is Sunset. Okay. But, like, they're moving a lifeboat on this boat right here. Maybe so this is a newer, bigger boat. Maybe. We'll get a little bit I'm better really view sure. of it Maybe when we get around to the other side. Maybe when we're walking down the dock in between them to see uh, how those bo boats there they look in comparison. Look at the big drone winches on here, guys. And check out that exhaust. Stainless steel. I'm estimating. 100 foot to the bow of that boat off the water. Okay. I was just telling this lovely young lady how much I love her swimsuit. My daughter. And right here, oh, I love these nails right yeah, here. Yeah, look at my look belly at button. I actually Ooh, have one again. There. You ready for something really good, though? All right. Shake that. Shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it for him. Shake it for him. <laughs> Y'all better calm down out right here. Y'all need to calm right, down. <laughs> have a good time. We headed back on our travels down here to the Bahamas. It was a lot easier with the boat docking than getting on the boats to go over the full moon cake, half moon cake. But uh, we enjoyed it. The little boat ride over it was awesome too, I guess. If you're a boat lover, crowd was a little rough. Turn. What you want? Right there. Come forward. Alright guys, y'all have to deal with this kind of stuff. <laughs> she makes my she makes my work hard, I'm telling. You. been giving you guys have been from this back balcony right here underneath this last lifeboat and all the way up to this front balcony okay. where this front lifeboat is. I've walked that rail with you guys if you guys get to see that in the video. Depending on um, editor's choice, Mr. Oliver behind the screen there. Huh. If he decides to put that walk in there, you'll get to see it. But I have recorded so much stuff here. There's no way for him to show you even a a very very small percentage of what I've taken um, capture of. I'm up for the challenge. Look, she dressed. Whew. We're trying to get in the shade for the last few seconds here before I get back on the boat. People here, they're probably either waiting on an excursion to leave or maybe something, or maybe just, I don't know, but this is usually what they're doing here. So we made it back, guys. Back to the Carnival Sunshine. What's that from? It says $4.95 right there. Yeah, but it was like $4.25. Yeah. That's right? pretty. Maybe they don't know how to She said she loves dolphins. I love dolphins too, right? This would look good in my dolphin little showcase. I have a dolphins. That's a shark on that one. She I collects spoons. spoons. And there's my... Oh my gosh. So she got this little per change purse. So it was only $2, right? Didn't you say? Yeah. yeah. yeah so that was great. Um, some Bahamas bracelets for their granddaughters, Skylar and Melena. You guys may have met the, them. They were on our North Carolina trip with us to Carolina Beach. Skylar and Melena, a turtle. 
bracelet, um, a license plate. We be cruising Bahamas. <laughs> She's still <laughs> opening. Yeah, <that. laughs> Well, my Allison had to give me an Al keychain. <laughs> and David the shot glass from the home. So that's the shell that I had gotten that we looked at earlier. Where did y'all get all this stuff now? I don't listen to one of marketplace. And he's trying to sell you more than that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they call it the straw basket. or <laughs> Okay, and then I have my crab puzzle here. Look at here, Susan. Is it a real crab puzzle? Well, I mean, it it's just it's just made to come apart, so that way it, it's not easily broken, I believe. Mm, that's pretty cool. I, I mean, I have to, I'll have to play with it and see exactly how to put this <laughs> thing back together, because... Okay, there we go. There's the leg. What's that? Dolphin. Legs not dolphins. This, um, some kind of fish. What is that? You know, you should know. You wear the no, shirts all the time. Sword fish or swordfish. It's a swordfish. And that's, I got a bunch of those because I got them for different people. Yeah. I think, getting gifts. Yeah, those are the same. You're getting souvenir gifts. This might be the same. I don't know. Yeah, and then there's same. our little crab. Oh, and oh, his that legs. That's cute. <laughs> I saw and the I turtle might... ones. Did you see the turtle Yeah, ones? I did. So I picked the crab just because we crab a lot. And I live in a, my house in Beaver is really small, so um, David, I tried to pick something that's small. David has more than this that. this is going to go outside. He's got it with him. And then we're, ooh. And that right there was uh, one that of was the big pumps. Look what I found. I don't know if it's real, but I'm going to find out. The staff right, got cool. us to pay $5 for this, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Five dollars for the big comp. I might right, have just walk somewhere and pick them up for free, but Where I don't know. We saw them down um, in the area where we were, but it was probably like an eight or nine foot drop, so it wouldn't have been somewhere we could easily got to. And then other than that, I did just buy this magnet. And they do have it taped as well. Just something to break them on And this guy said that. he painted this himself. Hey, we can get you guys some hats like this right here. These valley hooker hats. Right. Offshore fishing hats. That's right, representing Valley Fish Valley Valley Hooker <laughs> Offshore Fishing. Give me a second. <laughs> in Nassau, Bahamas. Yeah. Look, this is our little magnet and the little guy that was selling them, he had paint he paints them himself. Mm -hmm. A little magnet and so it's got our little cruise ship there. Cool. That's my game one of those. I like yeah. to get stuff that, you know, when I see it it brings back a memory, so it's kinda like a picture to me. Oh, I remember that day. Yeah. <laughs> I remember yeah. when we did this. And really, all we did was get off the boat and walk around to the little shops and walk out to the little beach and stuff. So it's not like we actually did any kind of excursions. Whereas in, this might be something in Half Moon K or Half Moon T, I picked out this uh, magnet. No, nothing important. Just thought that I picked out this magnet. And it was just so happened that was where the pirate ship was. And, I, and if you guys remember, I was walking down at the right time <laughs> out of the power ship and actually won the little musical beach towels championship. So that'll bring back that memory when I see that little pirate in the refrigerator. Yeah. First cruise and got that. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Well, making memories. Making memories. That's nothing important, but that's my other day. <laughs> oh, you look at there. She get, they got her some lighters that say that. that Bahamas there. And she's still unwrapping, folks. No, I'm doing now. Oh, she got David's it. Got but more. she said David what? has more stuff. Yeah, David has more stuff. We got souvenirs for everybody. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. They'll definitely lure you into buying yeah. some gifts or treasures down here in the Bahamas. I'll tell you that. They're decent price, they really. <laughs> you guys better stick around with us through the rest of these videos. They're going to be good. <laughs>